Hi, Sheriff. Hi, Narissa. Have a seat. Are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around. Let's just say I've been better. <coughs> Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. That you wanted to talk to me about. I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. You have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter, and I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Look around you. Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Okay, I get it. 
So the ribbons, if you take them off, Snow. Listen, Sheriff, can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. Sorry, I just need to talk to the Sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Uh, wait, you don't have to go. That was... abrupt. One way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're scared about what's been going on? Beauty told me she had to take out a loan from the Crooked Man. Seems like a pretty bad deal. I can only imagine what they're thinking now. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. 